It's no secret that women aren't going for the nice guys and that they actually are attracted to something different. And when men operate in that nice guy frame, women instantly get turned off and they run away. And then the nice guys are chasing after him going, but I was so kind to you, I got you flowers. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start being more attractive to women and how to operate that will just completely change the game for you. So let's get right into it. Number one is you need to stop being the nice guy because women know that nice guys have a hidden agenda. They know that the nice guys are doing it because they wanna get in their pants, right? They're trying to gain the approval of that woman because deep down they think that's what's gonna get them what they're wanting, sex and affection from a woman. But that's not the case. And women see right through that. Women always, and even men too, they walk all over these nice guys because the nice guys don't have a backbone. Um, they let people do whatever it is they want them to. And it's not until after that they start to have a little bit of resentment and they get upset and then they're pissed off, but they don't show that in the moment. And they also don't say no to things that other people do to them or the ways that they act towards them, meaning they tolerate pretty much anything. A nice guy prioritizes the opinions of others more than his own, and deep down, they're miserable. They're actually dishonest about what their intentions are because, again, they're always trying to get something, and everyone can see right through this. Uh, think about the guy that kisses ass to his boss, right? Versus the masculine man. The masculine man who is secure in what he believes in, right? he's secure in his thoughts and ideas, he's not afraid of disapproval, he sets boundaries, and he doesn't take shit from anyone. He says, no, that's not okay. And he's not afraid of confrontation. He lives by the certain values and the code that he has instilled within his life. And he's become clear on what that is because he's taken time to think about that. He's become clear on how he wants to live his life because he's intentional, right? He values his opinion more than the opinions of others. He doesn't care if his opinion's going against everyone else's, if he's that lone wolf because he's masculine, he's a man. That's what men do. Men don't care what other people think of them. They do based on what they know is right and what they believe in, right? And they choose to be kind and spread positivity without some hidden agenda or secret motive deep down. They just go, hey, I believe in this, so I'm gonna do it. I believe it's good to be a good person, so I'm gonna be a good person. Not because the nice guy is like, ooh, I think I can get something from this, right? It's different. So for this, to begin this transformation, I want you to stop avoiding confrontation. Start being okay with that awkward moment where you disagree with someone and there's that silence. But you see, the people that have uh, an intelligent mind and the people that are able to have conversation that's in an intellectual manner, those are the people that are actually going to respect you even if they disagree with you. And that's what the woman will do as well. If you speak your mind and you completely disagree, let's just say, for example, it's left versus right, right? You know, liberal versus Republican. And you're Republican, like most men. And most women are liberals. That's just how it is. And you're speaking your mind and sharing what you believe in, but because it's uh, got, you know, a you have a reason why you have that belief because you've taken the time to look at the facts, you've studied, you've become aware and you've had your own real life experiences that you're speaking from. That is going to be okay in the minds of most men or women that are intellectual, but the ones that are just idiots, right? They're blind and they can't listen to anyone else's perspective that's not their own. Um, you don't even care about those people. Those people are non-existent, peasants. Don't even listen to them, right? But the people that are actually able to have a conversation, cool, you two can disagree and that's totally fine. But it's important for you to know why you believe in certain things and also be willing to listen to other people. If you can do that and you can listen to other people, that's going to allow these types of intelligent people to respect you. Again, they don't always, they're not, may, may not like you, but the fact that you're able to speak your mind and also able to give them the opportunity to be heard, that goes a long way and that's so important as a masculine man. And so as a man, you also need to set rules and regulations and you need to be clear on how people are going to talk to you, right? What it is that they need to treat you like. And it's so important for you to stop tolerating disrespect. And this also can mean that you're willing to fight physically, right, with another man. If another man is being disrespectful to your woman or yourself, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? Have you actually thought about these things of 
how would I actually react to if some guy just did like a slight little bitch slap on your face, right? You know, like, hey, yeah, sure, dude. What are you gonna do about that? Have you prepared for the moment for that to happen? Because if you're in some club or you're just in a environment where people are intoxicated, that's not unlikely. I don't go in those environments because I hate them. It's useless. I'd rather be around in successful people that can handle their drinks. And for me, I hardly even drink. So I don't even need to go in those environments because that's not what I find fun. I'd rather be in a small group. But the point is, if you're in an environment, and it can, this can happen anywhere. It doesn't have to be uh, in an environment where there's alcohol or substances. You can get an altercation and you need to know how you're going to respond to it. And the best way is to, one, think about it in advance, but then, then after you do that and think about how you actually would respond honestly, then prepare for it, you know? Work out, build strength, learn how to fight, practice kickboxing, Muay Thai. Those are th uh, very important things for every man to do. Uh, and as soon as you start, st uh, potentially stop, right? You start making that transition of stop being the nice guy. That's when you'll start getting a lot more attraction from women. Women are going to actually understand that, okay, this guy's not trying to gain my approval. I went on a date one time with this insanely liberal woman from the States. It was when I was in Bali. And this woman, right off the bat, made it clear that she was a liberal. Cool, that's okay. I don't care if someone's liberal. But she made it very clear that anyone that has any sort of right-leaning perspectives is just gross and bad. So then I was like, sick. Let me go let her know all my beliefs. And first off, that was one of the worst dates I've ever been on. Exhausting, right? But I was also just at the end of the day, uh, after I realized like this is not my type of woman, I just had fun. I was debating her. I was just picking apart her per perspectives. And she was actually able to share why she thinks things. And I was able to share why I th uh, see certain things. And I was able to understand and even share out loud, like, hey, I get why you uh, see it this way. Um, and here's why I see it this way. But and I, I don't know, maybe she didn't respect me, but I think she did. And at the end of the day, we didn't like each other. So I like dropped her off after that date. And I was like, hey, you know, hope you had a good time, at least talking, best of luck on your travels. But the point is, like, I was able to have that conversation versus I know most guys that she goes on dates with will go lie. They'll say, oh yeah, you know, I love this or I believe in this too. And when they actually don't. And that's just embarrassing as a man, right? So be the man that holds his frame and shares his beliefs and stand out. Uh, stop living with regret. This is the biggest thing that I know all these nice guys, if any of you nice guys are watching this, right? Say you're a nice guy and you have so much regret on what you didn't do, what you didn't say. That's a horrible existence, living with regret. And I don't want that for you. So I want you to stop doing the things that are gonna allow you to then be in that headspace where you're just pissed off at yourself. That's the worst thing. You need to control this, your brain. This is the most important thing. You gotta be on your side. So if you start doing this, you'll put an end to having wished you acted a certain way. And once you do this, you start living life. You attract more women. You attract the approval and respect of other men. And you build your ecosystem. You build the community that vibes with you. And even if people in the beginning don't agree with you or they share uh, or have different perspectives or beliefs, eventually you might be the person that influences them and brings them your way. And then when you believe in a certain message, you become that spokesperson who's preaching to the world and you're encouraging people to come into your reality and share that same paradigm, that same belief system. If you found value from this video, be sure to like and subscribe as well as leave a comment on what type of videos you would appreciate moving forward. I'll see you in the next one.